Hey, class of 2014, got student loans? Don't worry, your politicians feel the pain. Student loan debt is exploding. I owed over $100,000 in student loans the day I swore into the Senate just three years ago. Now think about that, I'm the President of the United States. It, it was only about eight years ago that I finished paying off my student loans. 41 members of Congress reported they still had student loan payments in 2012 for either themselves or their families. That's according to the most recent data from the Center for Responsive Politics. Who had the most? That was Raul Ruiz, a doctor and Democrat from California. In 2012, he still had up to $265,000 in student loans. That's 10 times the debt this year's average grad will face. Over in the Senate, Republican Mike Lee and Democrat Chris Murphy both reported they were still paying for diplomas too up to $115,000 between them. Altogether, there are 40 million Americans dealing with student debt, and that comes with a price, $1.2 trillion. So what's Congress doing about it? One of the newest plans comes from Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Her bill would let certain people with student loans refinance at a lower interest rate, and it would also tax millionaires to help cover the costs. We should cut those interest rates and we should cut those government profits. We should give our young people a break and boost our economy. On the other side of the aisle, Florida Senator Marco Rubio. His plan lets businesses spend money on individual students. In exchange, those students have to pay back a certain percentage of their future income. So the bill is designed to create a legal framework so we can encourage more entities, more investment groups to step into this field and help uh, people with an alternative to the college so loans that we currently have. Neither of these bills are likely to make it through in a divided Congress. But while the issue of student debt weighs on lawmakers' minds, it's also weighing down the wallets of new grads.